The presentation now will cover the new free IDE for us STM32, which is AC6 system workbench, which is provided free of charge to you on the community website which is associated. And I will present you this. System workbench for MCU or STM32 is an embedded systems IDE developed by AC6, a small French company, for programming STM32 microcontrollers. It's based on Eclipse. It can be used on Windows, on Linux, and soon on Mac OS X and can be installed either using a standalone installer, so very convenient, just have to download the installer on the internet and run it, or if you have your own Eclipse installation and want to use it, you can use it and just install it as a set of plugins under Eclipse. And once installed, you will be able to update it through the standard Eclipse mechanism. The idea of this IDE is to integrate all project activities in one environment and to allow it to collaborate, cooperate with all other Eclipse plugins, mainly all team management systems, source code management systems, program reporting, etc., etc. Does it move or not? No. What's happening? Okay. The architecture of system workbench for MCU is a set of Eclipse plugins with the main STM32 project in the middle that allow you to define which board you use, which MCU, which firmware library you want to use because we have with the STM32 the ability to use either the legacy STBP ref library or create project using the HAL library project. And then these are two different projects so that you can share the same library for different programs that you can build and then debug, flash the image and deploy to the final system. And to this, you can add your own autoses, USB stacks, user libraries, etc., etc. So, so I will just show you quickly how to create a program and then debug it. You'll see that it's very simple. Creating a program when you want to start working with System Workbench with, for STM32, you will first create a project. You create a standard C, C++ project for Eclipse. Give it a name, of course. Create, as a kind of project, an AC6 MCU project, where you can create either an executable project or a library project. So if you have your own library that you want to integrate in your systems, you can create these as libraries and then reference them from your own project. And then you select the proper tool chain, which is the AC6 MCU GCC based tool chain, which is delivered with the plugins. Then you have to choose the proper MCU to use and the board to use because we support all the STM32 MCUs, all the families. Everything that is available today is supported and we will support the new chips as soon as they are available, generally available. And you, we support also all the evaluation boards provided by ST Microelectronics. 
So you can choose the family, the theory of the STM32 to simplify selection. Here I've chosen STM32 F4. And then the board on you, which you want to work. Either a standard STM32 provided board, like the STM uh, the Nucleo F411RE, or you can create your own board. Because of course you will not always use evaluation boards, but you may create your own board. You just have to push, create a new custom board, and then you specify which are the MCU that you put on it, a few characteristics of the board, and then create the project. Then you will have the ability to choose which firmware you want to use. For STM32 processors, you can have either the STD period legacy library or the new hardware abstraction layer cube library. So you have to choose which one you want. Of course, you may want to work bare metal without any firmware on the board, in which case you just select don't, uh, no firmware, don't load any firmware. And then the firmware will be automatically downloaded from the ST website. You don't have to take care of it. It will be done the first time you need it. And then you will get your firmware downloaded. It is analyzed by the tool. And the various components are available. And you can select just the basic firmware or you can add all the additional firmware available, either provided by ST or provided by third party. You just click the one you need, and then you create your project. Then you will get your completely populated workspace with the project that you have created containing your program, which if of course for now is empty, the main program that we provide in this case is empty, and the library program with the standard file firmware libraries that you have selected. You also may have selected on the previous screen to load the whole firmware provide, as provided by STMicro Electronics so that you can copy-paste, for example, some demo code from the provided software. We do not do that for you because there are too many variations depending on the board you are starting from, but you may just open the project that is still closed on this screen, the last one, and then copy-paste things into your project. The code in this global project will never be compiled automatically, but all the code you put in your program project or in a library project will be automatically compiled when you push the build button on which the arrow is pointing now. And then when you build it, you will get some uh, output in the lower window at the end here, finishing by the size of the generated code and you will have both a debuggable file, which will not debug the program, and a binary file, which can be flashed directly on the board. And then your program is ready to be debugged. Debugging is as seamless as creating the project and compiling it. Of course, you can modify your code and just has to recompile each time. To debug, you have two ways to start the debugger. There is the fast track possibility, which is just one click away from building. You just select, for example, in the debug menu, a small icon with a, which looks like a small bug in the tool menu at the, at the top. You select debug as 
AC6STM32CC++ program and it will start the debugger automatically. Configure everything from the currently selected program project. But sometimes you want to be able to customize a bit the way the debugger will start. For example, not having a breakpoint at main, but at some other place to have the system start up normally and stop somewhere else. So in this case, you can use the custom track. Instead of selecting debug as AC6STM32CC++ program, you select debug, as debug configurations. And then you create your own configuration. You will choose, of course, an MCU program, debugger, create one, and then you will be able, on the system, on the debug configuration, to choose the program to debug, if you have several programs to debug, the project from which it's coming, and mainly, in the second screen, choose which breakpoint to put, how to start up your program, etc. And you will see at this level that we use OpenOCD to control the debugging through the JTAG probe. And then you can also change the uh, configuration script for OpenOCD if you have specific needs on your board. It's mainly needed when you have custom boards where you may have to provide your own script. And then debugging will be done on the standard debugging interface of Eclipse with all the facilities, the ability to single step, step in a function, step over a function, put breakpoints, put watches to look at variables, plus a few specific things provided by the standard STM32 debugging plugin. For example, some abilities, specific abilities for visualizing memory and visualization of all the MCU specific IO registers. And you have one window that allows you to see all the IO registers from your STM32 chip and for each register. Here, that's the general registers. The next slide, we will have the I.O. registers. And for each peripheral device, for example, the, well, the USART, there is several ones. You have USART 1 with control register 1. And every bit is decoded. And you see every bit, its value. You can change the value when you are starting your program and you discover that you have some configuration to change, you can update your registers, test the result, and then correct the, your code to provide the proper configuration. Then having a nice ID is one thing, but having a, an associated community website allow to have all the support and all the evolution provided through internet. There is a specific website which is openstm32.org 3 openstm32.org that is the entry point to access the tool, to use it, to exchange on usage of the tool, exchanging some tips asking questions, getting answers, etc., etc., with the facts, with the forums, etc., to support the tool. This website is the need you to register on the website to access to everything, including downloading the installer and getting all installation instruction, of course. You will find, of course, also here, 
the documentation for System Workbench for STM32, some forums to discuss, some facts, some blogs with insight on STM32 development, tips and tricks on the System Workbench for STM32 use, etc., etc. And of course, you are welcome to participate in this adventure because that's something that just start. Registration is free, the tool is free, everything is free on the, on the website. And once registered, you can browse all the website, read the online documentation. And you may, if you are interested to participate, ask to become an author that allow you to have your own blog where you can post your thoughts and discuss with, with others and provide input to the community. The OpenSTM32 website is live now. The Windows-based version of System Workbench for STM32 is free and free to download by everybody. The Linux version is in beta, beta status, so you have to request to be a beta tester if you are willing to participate and check it and uh, return information on how it works for you. And the Mac OS X version will be ready next semester, next uh, trimester, next quarter. The roadmap for evolution of system workbench for STM32, release one zero is available now. It releases all the chips and evaluation boards available today from STM32. It supports firmware wires at the STD period or HAL format, cube format, wherever appropriate. That is, all boards today are supported by CubeMX and by the HAL library, while the newest boards are only are not available for STD period. And it runs 1.0 on Windows. 1.1, which is expected uh, next month, will be a minor release. May support some new devices as they get out, and will support Linux as development host. We test it and uh, validate it on Ubuntu version 12.04 and 14.04, the long-term support releases of Ubuntu, and we will always support the last two LTS releases of Ubuntu. Of course, that does not mean it will not work on other platforms, but we don't test it, we can test it on all Linux platforms. Then, second, next, uh, quarter of, nine, of 2015, there will be release 1.2, a minor release 2, may as always support new devices and will support Mac OS X as a development environment. Development is in the last phase, it will go to beta when 1.1 gets out about and then will be released a few months after. And uh, release 2 is expected end of the year with more features available and, of course, more chips supported. And independently from the scheduled updates, for which we will have new versions of the installers, you will have regularly updates available through the standard Eclipse update mechanism just by clicking check for updates under Linux, under Eclipse, excuse me. And that allows to correct bugs to provide you updated versions of some tools. For example, the GCC version we use is the latest Linaro version. So when Linaro provides a bug fix or a new version, you will be able to just install it by updating your system workbench for STM32 installation. And you may have some new features 
and the uh, user interface have, of course, newly released STM32 chips that will be supported in the days or weeks after their general availability. That means that the support in the tool will usually be available when you can get the board from ST, from ST Microelectronics. And if you have special arrangement with ST Microelectronics to have advanced versions of the tools or the boards, we can provide you usually advanced versions of the support too. So, thank you for your attention.